Yo, 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 what's going on, man? It's your boy Jonah Joseph, and I'm back at it again with another video. You know what I mean? Today, yo, we got the Little Mix Girls Private Struggles Made Public. Um, I really wanted to check this out just so I can kind of get more of an insight on, like, things that I kind of already have, like, suspicions about, you know what I mean? Like, you guys have been commenting, kind of letting me know that, like, even, like, Jesse, like, she was struggling for a while, like, with her confidence and things like that. Like, she was always thick and didn't really appreciate it, and now she loves her, uh, her thickness, you know what I'm saying? Like, even with Leanne, like, people were telling me that, like, she was struggling back in the day. Like, I don't know. I'm just here for it. I really want to find more personal things out about these girls. Like, I love when, like, everything is perfect, and that's awesome, too. But, like, I love when people go kind of... I love when people are human. That's more or less what I'm getting at. Like, I love when people are able to come out and say that they were struggling with something or, like, that something was happening. Now, a lot of it is just because you guys, like, fans, period, are, like, so, like they're like literally better than the FBI, you know what I mean? Like you guys paid so much attention to things and you figure out stuff so that makes them have to like address issues. Anyway, let's get into the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that again. And thank you guys so much. I really hope you guys are here for the Saturday for the ladies content. We got a lot of gorgeous ladies up on the channel today. Let's go ahead and check them out. Let's kill this mob. Black pink in your car. The Little Mix ladies found each other on The X Factor and broke out into the world. Mama had them spread their wings and they haven't stopped soaring since. They're now the best-selling group in UK history. They surpassed the Spice Girls by selling over 16 million records in the UK alone. God. It's been a journey for these ladies and though they're flying high, it wasn't always like that. The girl squad has fought to get where they are today, overcoming personal struggles while inspiring us along the way. Jesse Nelson. Jessie grew up in Essex, England, and was one of five siblings raised by a single mother. Even though money wow. was a struggle, Jessie's mom worked her hardest to provide for her family. She was their superhero. So, Jessie grew up to admire her mother's strength and dedication, which helped become the strong and independent woman she is today. The 27-year-old has become an icon of female empowerment, always working to be the role model that her fans deserve. And she doesn't fail to impress. Just recently, she announced on Instagram that she's teaming up with BBC for an upcoming documentary called Jesse Nelson My Story. Oh. The doc <laughs> We all see where my mind is, okay? <laughs> we'll show how social media can play a destructive role in regards to mental health and body positivity. We have no doubt that her personal struggles will be insightful since she has always been open and candid about her grapple with trolls over the years. When she was on The X Factor, they tore into her viciously, gleefully picking her apart and exposing all her insecurities for the whole world to see. She talked about it tearfully while on the set of X Factor in 2011. Jessie opened up about comparing herself to the other girls in Little Mix, saying they were slimmer and smaller than her. She went on to explain how social media has become a platform for bullying, saying that trolls continue to talk about her weight on Twitter. Her experience with trolls and bullies doesn't begin there, however. It all I need you guys to know, like, especially all you females out there, like, even males, because, like, we struggle with it too, but stop. Like, people, yes, it's only, cons I feel like it's really only considered bullying because, like, you yourself hasn't accepted it. But if you love yourself, like, nothing anybody can say can ever hurt you. So that's something you need to look, look at more. You need to stop putting yourself out there when you don't, like, have 100% faith in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you are confused about something or, like, feel some type of way about it, like, you need to just get out of that situation, okay? Stop going, on, going online, like, thinking, like, you're going to get, like, acceptance from strangers and people aren't going to pick you apart. Like, people are going to roast the crap out of you. You know what I'm saying? And it sucks, man. But it's honestly, like, other people do it, too. Like, usually the people who care so much about what other people say are the people who talk the most crap. Like, you can attempt to not agree with me, but a lot of that's usually how it goes. Like, a lot of the time when you sit there and, like, care so much about what people have to say about you, like, especially on, like, stuff about your size and, like, the other girls weren't slim, like, come on, bro. Like, every girl has their own body type. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even dudes. Like, dudes have their own body types. Like, Come on, son. I've been chubby my whole life. Like, I had a skinny period in my life. Like, I'm getting back there now. But it's like, bro, come on. Like, let's be real honest here. Like, not everybody looks the same. And not everybody's ever going to look the same. You're never going to look like certain people. And be okay with that. But also accept that some people are beautiful. And you got to accept that, bro. Like, you're beautiful in your own way. And they're beautiful in their own way. Accept that. That's it. 
started in secondary school when she became the new girl. A group of girls started picking on her and managed to rope in an older boy to do the same. It got so bad that the stress affected her mental and physical health. Opening up about the experience in Little Mick's autobiography, Our World, Jessie said that bullying was an everyday ordeal and that it went on for months. Her stress levels got so bad that she developed alopecia and her hair started falling out. What's more, her skin flared up with a condition called rosacea, which makes the skin patchy, red, and inflamed. The rosacea spread all over her face, making it look like she had bad acne, and she wasn't even able to cover it up since her school had a no-makeup policy. Even outside of school, Whoa. the taunts That's would still thing. affect her. Her brain would play them on a loop over and over again. In the end, Jessie's sister stood up to the boy and scared him off. After that, he left her alone. From her mother to her sister, it is clear to see that Jessie was surrounded by strong women, and it is no surprise that she has grown into a superwoman herself. Yeah. Jade Thirwall. The 26-year-old beauty was born to working-class parents. Her dad was a taxi driver and her mom was a manager at her school. Though she is of Yemen and Egyptian descent on her mother's side... What is a manager at a school? What is that? Like, what are, like do they mean teacher? Or like, some type of faculty member? I don't, I don't really understand what that means. Is it different in the UK? Do you guys have like... Like managers? Like is it like a job? I don't I don't really understand that. I don't I don't, I don't know what that means. Oh, or did she work at like the like the actual uh like the what do you call it? What is it called? There was like a word for it. <laughs> like the age like the place uh where like you have okay, so like say if you live in a community, right? And like your community has like four or five high schools and then like there's like a school. So that's the school oh your school she worked at the school district or for the school district, which was like she I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Jade grew up in England, raised in the town of South Shields. Growing up, she idolized her big brother, Carl, who was five years older than Jade. She loved him so much that she became quite the tomboy, despite her love for ballet, tap dancing, and of course, singing. By the time she was six years old, Jade was already singing and performing in front of her school. She knew she wanted to become a singer. She later studied at the Performing Arts College South Tinside, and after two prior attempts, she successfully auditioned for The X Factor in 2011, where she she met her other bandmates. Now fast forward to eight years later and Jade is living her dream. She's a strong, successful woman with an aura of confidence about her. But it wasn't always that way. Jade revealed that she struggled with anorexia at a young age. At 13 years old, she was eventually hospitalized and forced to receive treatment. She believes her illness was triggered after many distressing events like being bullied at school. It all started in secondary school when one girl in particular bullied her like never before. She called her racial slurs, throwing bleach at her and holding her down with the help of her friends to draw a bindi on her forehead. This bullying along with her Wait. home... What is a bindi? Now <laughs> I gotta hit Google, bro. Because y'all are really wild in the UK, okay? Bindi. Bindi the ink machine? What the heck? I wonder if this is what they're talking about. <laughs> I hate that you'll never know. Like, I'll never know. I don't know. Please, someone tell me what a bindi is. Is that what a bindi is? I don't know life catapulted her struggles with anorexia. Jade came clean about the events that led to her eating disorder in the band's book, Our World. She was 13 when she was diagnosed with anorexia. She believes it to be a culmination of many events occurring in her life at the time. Her grandfather, whom she had been extremely close to, passed away and she was being bullied at school. And so she looked to food to regain a bit of control over her life. In Our World, Jade explained that her eating disorder stemmed from her need to have control over her life. And despite only being 13 years old at the time, Jade sought to monitor and limit her nutrition. Her restrictive wow. diet escalated and soon she was looking in the mirror and not liking who stared back at her. She by no means thought she was overweight, but still what she wanted was to be very, very skinny. Naturally, her mental and physical well-being began deteriorating and she was taken in for treatment. There, she was told that if she continued to destroy her body, she might not make it through the year. Luckily, wow. after some time, with the help 
of her family, she pulled through, and then in 2008, she auditioned for The X Factor for the first time. Yet despite her success and fame after The X Factor, she still battled with insecurities and self-doubt. Past ghosts came to haunt her when a magazine digitally changed her nose and whitened her skin after a photo shoot. The edits had shaken her so badly that she'd almost gotten a nose job. However, after all of this, Jade has now become a leader in the self-love and mental health movement and has shared her thoughts about the experience on Twitter. She admitted to wanting to get a nose job after her first magazine shoot, along with whitening her skin. The publication photoshopped and completely changed her nose. Being 18 at the time, it really damaged her self-esteem and brought new insecurities to the surface of her mind. She seriously thought that she was ugly, but no more. Although she might not always feel like she fits... Yeah, they're wilding because Jay is bad as fuck. Like, <laughs> let's be honest to you. Like, that's crazy. I ain't even really like, yo, I think I did point out her nose like the first time I watched their videos. Dang, that sucks, dude. I hate, I see, I hate when stuff like that happens. Like, I don't mean to be like a bad person. Like, I hope you guys don't think that I'm like a horrible person. Like, I don't, I don't like mean to point out stuff like that. I just point out what I see. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. You got to be able to love yourself because... When I'm like critiquing these videos or I'm going through it, like I was trying to choose who I was like really into and like I kept naming certain things, but dang, that's horrible. I gotta stop doing stuff like that, you know? Dang. Into society's mold, she's done with thinking that she's not beautiful, and she wants her fans to feel the same way, which is why she enjoys posting inspirational quotes on the Little Mix Twitter page. Perry Louise Edwards. The 25-year-old bombshell loved her childhood. It was simple, she said, despite some bumps along the way. She was one of three siblings who coined themselves as the Three Amigos, and though her parents had separated when she was a baby, her home life felt full. Although she and her Yo, siblings that, lived that with- That clip just blew my mind. Yeah, if you guys are looking for the uh, Little Mix with James Gordon videos, like I had to private them because they got blocked, like just out of nowhere. It still makes no sense to me. Like I had so much fun looking at those videos, like they were so interesting. And I'm just so mad that like all those videos like slowly just keep getting blocked. So if you, if you guys start seeing uh, videos like slowly disappear, that's what's happening. And I'm so sorry about that. If I could change the audio, I would, but I'm not just gonna add some random song in there. It's not even gonna make sense. And I'm sorry. Like please let me know if anything gets cut out. So if they don't, if I don't see it, like even with um, one of the songs that I uploaded, it was like completely blacked out. Like it just stopped playing, and I was like, what happened? I don't, even, I don't know. I don't know her mom, she maintained a close relationship with her dad, his new partner, and her new baby sister. And yet, life is never perfect. Ever since she was a child, Perry dealt with many physical struggles. For as long as she can remember, Perry was always in and out of the hospital. She was once hospitalized because she was unable to eat food, which Perry says was the most serious complication of all. When she was a baby, she would always bring it back. Well, I guess Jesse, now we know why everybody else is so small. <laughs> it seems like everybody had some type of eating disorder. Or her, like she was just cursed from a baby. Like something was going on in her life. So don't feel that bad, Jesse. Okay, everybody's going through it. Or a lot of you out there, all right? Cup, and when she got older, certain foods would get stuck in her throat. If she tried to wash it down, the water would just end up making things worse, and Perry would have to force herself to be sick. No doctor was able to give them a concrete answer. Despite her mother blending all of her food in a desperate attempt to feed her daughter, her efforts fell short. And by the age of seven, Perry was thin, malnourished, and anemic. Finally, they found a specialist who. Oh, they are so. Oh, they got me. I was like, yo, what happened? They just threw a whole ad at me right there. I didn't even see that about to come up. Like, usually, what I'll do is before I'll start, I'll let all the videos play through just so I won't get any ads. I was downloading all of them, but that was taking up way too much space. And I was like, nah. But all right, YouTube Premium, here we come problem. When they tried to get the camera down Perry's throat, it wouldn't fit through. It became clear to everyone that her esophagus was too small for food to go down. And so began her routine operations to stretch out her esophagus. Eek. She was a good sport about oh, it. God. She would be singing her heart out every time until the anesthetic knocked her out. It got better for her after that. Though the heartburn was awful and eventually burned a hole into her esophagus, which she once again needed surgery to fix. Fast forward to today and her can you like take that out? Can they remove your esophagus? Can they? I'm pretty. I don't know. 
health is no longer a life-threatening issue, thank goodness. No. And yet, though Perry has been to the end of the world and back, insecurity still managed to worm their way in. She's looking beautiful, happy, and healthy now. But for a while, there was a part of her that still didn't feel that way. Last year, Perry posted a photo on Instagram that shocked her fans, in a good way. The photo revealed a fresh face that fans had never seen before. She was covered in freckles. She captioned the photos, writing that all her life her freckles had been a cause of insecurity for her. However, over the last couple of years, she's like, Damn, didn't I see? I think I saw this photo. This show was bad. I was like, damn, go ahead, Perry, it's your cute ass. This, I love freckles. That's my thing, okay? This is mad cute. I love this. She captioned the photos, writing that all her life her freckles had been a cause of insecurity for her. However, over the last couple of years, she's learned to love and embrace them and doesn't need to hide them anymore. So what string of events caused Perry to feel like she had to hide her freckles? Well, according to Perry, one of the doctors who studied her during her youth once asked her what those things on her face were. Her answer was adorable. They were angel kisses, she said. Oh, to which goodness. the doctor... I just spilled water all over myself. But anyway... That was rude. How are you a doctor and you don't know what freckles are? Like, that was childish. Doctor shut her down nastily, saying, Those are not angel kisses, they're freckles. Yikes, now that's harsh. Luckily, Perry is now clearly feeling oh so good in her skin, and we are so happy for her. Natural beauty for the win. Leanne Pinnock. Leanne was the baby in her close-knit family. She and her two older sisters were raised by hard-working parents who did everything in their power for their children's dreams to come true. Even after her parents divorced when she was 14, the support they had for their children were above and beyond. Early on, Lee showed an affinity towards performing, and her father, a former boxer and actor, encouraged her wholeheartedly. Unfortunately, Lee was extremely shy and suffered from incredibly powerful stage fright whenever she tried to perform. With determination, however, and with the support of her family and friends. She broke through and found herself auditioning for The X Factor in 2011. Now oh, the 27-year-old is an unstoppable force and integral part. This is like so crazy, bro, because it just proves that everybody's going through something. Like everybody's going through something, man. And you just gotta, you just gotta deal with it, bro. Like, you just gotta take it with a grain of salt and keep moving of the girl group. Surprisingly, she hasn't always felt that way. There was a time when she felt invisible besides her bandmates. This year, Lee tearfully opened up about her struggle with online abuse, specifically the racism she experienced in the early days of Little Mix. The comments were so horrible that she admits she wasn't able to let them go and she'd search them all out. She regrets that, but is grateful for how much stronger she is now. The comments now have little effect on her. All she wants is to raise awareness and be an example for black women. In her interview with Roller Coaster magazine, she shared that for a long time she used to feel invisible and replaceable beside her bandmates. She used to feel powerful in her own skin and proud of who she was, but that got lost along the way. Racism is still a real problem in society, and Lee's committed to speaking up and raising awareness. The singer is finally comfortable in her own skin, and we're super happy for her. Despite their great success, the Little Mix girls aren't too different than the rest of us. Their stories are a constant reminder of how important it is is to be kind to people no matter what. After all, we never know what someone is going through. The Little Mix women See? are truly a force to be reckoned with. These women may be beautiful and talented, but what we love most about them is their unquestionable strength and love for themselves and their fans. That was beautiful, man. Honestly, like, that was a really well put together video. It is their thing on that. Again, man, if you guys are going through something like this, hold on, I gotta start. Uh, exporting this because it is going to take forever. It's like 16 minutes of a screen and recording. My computer is like, a, this is literally like, people are always like, oh, I gotta have like the best stuff to do stuff. But like, literally, bro, I film all of these videos on my phone. Uh, I literally, I use this MacBook that I have. It's from 2011. Like, I've had this book for so long. Like, my actual computer that I had before this was like a Dell. And it like couldn't handle it. Like it literally ended up like dying on me completely. My mom had this old computer and I like took it, cleaned it up, took everything off of it, like basically restarted as like a brand new computer. And this is what I use now. It's so slow, bro. Like it takes me so long. Like right now it's saying that it's gonna take 12 minutes to save this screen recording. <laughs> it's 60 minutes long. Like bro, like a three minute one, like when I do like the regular just videos, it takes like 10 minutes just to like get it done. Like. Bro, honestly, if you guys just knew, like, just get out and start. Do something, bro. Like, just get out. If you guys want to do it, do it, man. Like, nothing's stopping you. Like, you guys are amazing. I literally, 
I want to say it was like the first like 20 or 25 videos that I recorded on my phone. I actually edited them on uh, an app on my phone. I don't remember what the name of it was. It was like it was like something like FX or something like that. And I used that to edit all the videos out. And it was awesome. Like it really worked. You know what I mean? So you guys can always do it. Don't don't count yourself out. All right. Also, just to talk about that about the bullying and stuff like that again, like. It's crazy, bro. Like, even just watching this video, I've realized, like, how I've had my own part in, like, bringing up things. Like, you don't always have to say stuff. Like, a lot of times, bro, like, there's so much more to talk about. Like, just be a good person. Like, just have a conversation. It doesn't always have to be, you don't always have to part, point out the bad stuff in somebody. You know what I mean? Like, you can talk about the good things that they have going on. So, just just be better, okay? Everybody. Like, just be a better person for, for all the people around you and for yourself. All right? Thank you so much for tuning in. I really love you guys. Peace.